Well, I figured out why I was having problems with my ground fault. It's this right here. <clears throat> Them dadgum wires are on the other side. You can't see it, but they go over that side through the manifold and down into the box. So they're just bringing moisture in, and hell, we're lucky we ain't got electrocuted. Uh, I don't know what dumbass thought this up, but that's a no-no. So, uh, they're going to be a little high. I think I'm going to put them right here. That way I, I don't have to rewire every damn thing. I could put them over here. I'm going to put the light switches here, but hell, that's pulling wire. I had to pull a lot of wire. Paint the wall, but this right here, that's a no no. Uh, we could be getting electrocuted big time. We can see where the moisture is coming in through the box right there. And you can see it on the terminals. So that's why it kept tripping on me. It was blowing me away. I double check, triple check. Man, what the fuck? My damn wiring's right. <laughs> and here it is. Because it was just the bathroom, is what was shutting off. And I come over here and double check this plug and check all the plugs through the house. And it didn't even, never dawned on me that some asshole would have done this right here. You know? And, well, I didn't step around a corner and look <laughs> at that. Uh, I was too busy. But there's a problem right there, so. That's going to be high. I'll probably move it right up here. You know, you walk in anyway. You're going to go click to get into the shower. Click do the heat light, which I'm going to change that into a exhaust fan. And I don't know what this light does. It's got to be the one over the toilet. Damn, thing's got enough lights in here. There's a light over there. Heat lamps. And then two lights here. A light in the shower there. Huh. So, uh, there we go. And this switch over here, I'll press that light. Uh, I'm going to do some patching up there and then put a medicine cabinet in over here. And I'm good to go, I think. And down here, I'm going to. Uh, bring the supply in for the toilet straight down go through this wall right here and there's just no way for me to attach that or fix that I could take cut that one by four out at the bottom and probably run it that way but then I gotta notch it two by four at least three quarters of an inch to an inch I'll get it in there somehow it just shit <laughs> Not how I want to do it though, because it needs to be this high. The baseboard comes to right here, right above it, one by. So I'd have to notch it right there. Damn. Now nah, I'm just going to let it stick out right here, and then we'll just put a whip on it, you know, and bring it over here. And oh well, uh, that's about the best that's going to get. You can't do too much more for it. If I'd have known that right there, uh, well, I wouldn't have cut that piece of sheetrock out right there. I'd just cut it right through here. Uh, but that's all right. I fix it. I fix all of it. I might just take if that one by don't fall all the pieces on me over there. I just take a drill and just drill, 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 drill. Just trench me out of slot all the way across there and then lick the back of the sheetrock and stick it on there. <laughs> yeah you can tell they had a leak in here damn thing shit uh, whoever did this just really sucked I swear and especially that right there that damn dangerous you, you get electrified reach over and <laughs> Hang your wash rag. And I've been hanging my wash rag there too. You know, hang your wash rag there, and it's just like direct water seep in through here and come right straight down into this box. <laughs> gotcha. 
Oh yeah, buddy. Look at that. the copper wire, ground wire is just green. Hmm. Well, all right, y'all. Peace. Uh, I've got the rest of the house in there done.